Hola amigos de Muscular Development, soy Sergio Fernández, estamos en el gimnasio de Dorian Yates y nada, hoy tenemos unos eh, invitados especiales, ellos viajan desde China para empezar lo que son las certificaciones con Dorian Yates, ellos van a estudiar el curso con Dorian Yates, van a hacer los días de entrenamiento uh, con Dorian. Dorian, uh, talk about of the philosophy, about of the workouts uh, for the new trainers uh, uh, certification Dorian Yates. Well, um... I think most people uh, know that my training techniques and philosophy was uh, very different and revolutionary uh, when they came to the to the sport, and that's why my physique was uh, the standard it was. And uh, you know, we have the Blood and Guts video, we have the Warrior Stories book, and a lot of information out there. But what we didn't have was something really documenting the whole system, very technically for personal trainers, so that that the methods can be taught correctly uh, anywhere around the world because there's a lot of misconceptions about my training a lot of things which are not correct perhaps that people believe so I wanted to make it that people all around the world can get these techniques and be trained correctly so that's why I formed my certification which is DYHIT and we have Tom who's here from uh, Shanghai from China is going to be the first uh, guy to come and try out to be a, a master trainer. If you come to train with me and you're certified by me and you pass, uh, then you're going to be a master trainer and that means that you're qualified then to pass on the methods to other personal trainers because obviously, you know, not every personal trainer can come to Spain and train with me because of the time and distance and everything like that. So we want to make sure the methods go and they're taught correctly all around the world. So Tom is here today with his uh, team and uh, he's going to be the first guy to do the certification and take the methods back to China and teach to the trainers there so that they can teach the people in the gym the best and the quickest way uh, to develop your physique and uh, that's what it's all about. Okay, Tong, uh, it's a pleasure to stay here with me and how do you feel? Excited, no? I'm so excited, the first time come to, even the first time come to Europe and we from uh, Barcelona drive 10 hours through here, you know, just I think uh, just, like a, just like a movie, you know, that's uh, make it come, come true. Yeah. In 2013, uh, Vegas, I first time uh, met Dorian, you know, I can't believe that because Dorian, before I, I, I always just uh, uh, just see him in magazine, you know. Yeah, yeah. In magazine, I think uh, this guy is amazing, you know. He changed uh, bodybuilding history. I think he's another, the real master is the best one uh, master, bodybuilding master in the world. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. but to finally today we are here, we we'll make it come true. Good, good, good. Yeah, good. so I'll we'll we'll do the real stuff. The real yeah, we we'll do all real stuff and go back to China. We uh, help with more people to do real training, right, right training. Yeah, yeah, okay. Perfect. Uh, Dorian, what is the plan for today? What is the part of the body uh, for uh, destroyed uh, in the workout today? Well, the guys have just traveled all the way from Shanghai on the airplane and then drive from Barcelona 10 hours in the car and everything like that. So I'm not going to try to destroy them on the first day because we've got some more days to do. So we're going to start with the chest and biceps today and we've got four days of training. We're going to finish with the legs. So. You know, if they have to sit down for a few days after that, they, <laughs> they'll be okay. So, chest and biceps today, we're going to do everything and uh, the techniques and uh, start to learn, uh, you know, everything about the DYHIT. Um, <clears throat> I hate to waste my time. I hate people wasting their time. And I see so many people in the gym. They're in the gym, but they're wasting their time. They're not going to get any results with what they're doing. Um, so, hopefully, we can change that and uh, people will realize... It's not about the time in the gym because you don't need to spend a lot of time in the gym. Everybody says to me, oh, I don't have time to train. Well, you don't need a lot of time. If you've got 45 minutes, three times a week, I can build you the best physique. You don't need any more than that. The rest of the work is outside the gym. Well, that's another subject, you know, but the training itself is not long. Yeah. This is the truth, esta es la realidad. No se necesita demasiado tiempo para poder hacer un entrenamiento de alta intensidad. Con las técnicas de Dorian vamos a aprender eh, pues mucho de lo que es este alto rendimiento en muy poco tiempo y estar atentos porque vamos ahora a por el entrenamiento. Sergio Fernández, Master Trainer in the Marbella Gym, Dorian Yates y vamos a por más. Un saludo muy fuerte. Vamos. Hello. I'm going to show you one thing with, with no weights, just to warm around the, the shoulder girdle and then we're going to do some rotation to support the rotor cuff in the shoulders. So this is all. 
，那个肩膀怎么向活动开？整个肩关节还有那个那个肌腱都会是。So first one, I'm gonna show you. No weight. Hands straight down like that. First movement, you bring your shoulder blades up, so up like that, and then out like that with the thumbs up. Down, up, good. It's not heavy weights, working the supraspinatus is a small muscle, so if you use too much weight and you use movement, you're not going to... Across the body. Down and across. So that's what you think about when you do the chest. Um, the most popular exercise, which everybody knows, I'm sure, is the flat bench press. Um, but I'm not a big fan of this because it puts a lot of strain here on the tendon, on the pec tendon. And it's not a great chest exercise because it's not so much movement across. So, but if we change the angle from a flat bench to a side decline, it means you're here now. It takes the, the strain off the tendon, and it's more more range of movement range. across the chest. So, as a general all-round chest exercise, I think the decline is uh, the best exercise. Although. Most people don't think that because they think, oh, it's, it's for the lower chest, but you can't really separate the lower and chest and the upper chest too much, you know, it's just, if you go incline, emphasize a little bit more on the upper than the lower, but when the chest contracts, it all contracts, so um, it's for the whole chest. We're going to start with the decline press, we're going to start with a warming up set, and then a medium set, working up to the last set where we're going to look to go to failure, okay? So your first set should be at least around about 50, 40 or 50% of your final weight to give you some kind of an idea. And we haven't trained together before, so I don't know how much weight we're going to use, but we're going to find out, all right? all right? So, Tom, what do you want to warm up? Warm up, maybe 70 kilo. Or Let's take 60 and we'll warm up on that. Yeah, yeah? 60, yeah. Uh, Okay, Tom, first before we start, I'm going to explain the technique yeah? mm -hmm. and the movement because it's very important. First of all, we're going to take the bar, I'm going to pass the bar, you're going to bring it over and get it in line with your lower chest. Okay? So when I pass it, Take your time to bring it over and get it in line. 
Yeah? And then, before you start the rep, make sure everything's tight. Chest, shoulders, and that's, it's tight, yeah? And when you come down, keep it tight and controlled. Control. When you get to the chest, power up. Power up. Yeah. Control down, control always. Down. Don't, you don't need to stop at the bottom as soon as you come. It's like if you visualize, like a spring, it's getting squashed like this as it comes down, and then you're gonna release the power. Oh, no way out. Oh, no way out. Oh, no way out. It's important to control the weight all the time. And most people think in terms of positive, lift the weight. Oh, I've finished now. Yeah. Drop it down. The negative part of the weight is at least as important as a positive, if not more, because more damage is on the lower ring and the damage is create the growth. So you must concentrate on both parts of the exercise and the negative is always, you're always stronger on the negative part of the rib. So in order to really tax the negative part, you have to slow it down more than the positive. So the negative is, is uh, consciously slower. So in the to do this you have to do Short movement. Yeah. It's not here because then the triceps are coming into play. So it's a medium, four arms are parallel to each other. Okay? So we're gonna lift it. First of all, take it over thumb. More forward. That's it, there. Now keep tight and lower down to here and press up. And up. Good, one. Two. Good. Then they don't feel the cell so 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 when the muscle yeah. fiber are hundred percent working, you don't need so much rep, reps. Exactly. Yeah. On upper body, eight, eight reps, <laughs> ten reps. with the concentration curl. Now, combo. It's, we can be a little bit looser on the last few, you know, just to get to the top and bring the negatives down, right? Kind of look like this.
slow on the way down. Okay. Up. All right, hold that, hold that, hold that. Okay, I'm gonna help you. One negative. Up to the top of the negative. Hold it. Okay, good.